Hello, so we'll be quickly talking about my own wallet setup and how I well, basically yeah set everything up. So let's quickly look at it. So I do have an XOP lad uh, uh, sorry, my bad I have a ledger nano S. And that one here is my main account, meaning that this one is obviously the most important to me. So the mnemonic shouldn't be like stored digitally. Or, uh, it would be so at least if you have it digitally, then you should never back it up to a cloud. Maybe also encrypt a file. There are multiple tools to do that, and also obviously print it out, have it in a safe or whatever, and yeah, keep that mnemonic secure. Uh, then I do have multiple accounts, um, so I do have the XUM app, so I really like using that one. It is perfect for sending quick transactions sometimes when you need to send XRP. So there, uh, I've got another wallet address basically here, so yeah, whatever, I'm just going to call it DEF here, now even though it's different. And then I have here the master account, so another account, R, whatever, uh, test whatever okay and the thing I did here so I have multiple XRP accounts I've got like I don't know like 10 different XRP accounts so right uh, the thing I did here with all the different accounts is that I've set up for each of my XRP accounts a message uh, a uh, message key oh my bad no, no uh, sorry my bad a master key I think it's called, okay, I would have to look it up quickly, because I'm not sure, sure right now. It is called the, isn't it called the, oh, my bad, the regular key, that's why I'm confused, yeah. So I did set up a regular key, but for the main account. So all of these accounts I have, they have all a regular key set to my main account. Mean that, um, because all, so all of the other accounts, so the other accounts you use have just a family seed. Uh, but they don't have a, an a mnemonic or anything like that for those. I also have doc documented those in the case I have to reimport it or whatever. But with 14 accounts, it can get a little bit like yeah crowded, and you can lose the oversight. So that's why I set the regular key for all of my accounts for my Ledger Nano S, so for a hard wallet, so I would recommend also doing that, meaning that I, uh, I do allow my main account here, so my Ledger Nano S, which is the most important to me, I gave it permission to also sign for all my other accounts, so meaning that if I ever lose access to the family seat of that account here, I can still access access the funds using my Ledger Nano S, and that's basically how I set everything up. So I would also recommend doing that. I so far I think that's the best setup. It works the best for me, meaning that you can confidently have another account. So usually I love using Xum app. So like I said, if you if you have to do quick transactions and quickly scan your QR code and then sign it on your phone, it's like super handy. But obviously you don't you want to have your main fund. So let's say there are like lots and lots of XRP on your Ledger NAS, so you should store it there, seeing it as the entire vault or something like this, so it's the vault, so lots and lots, lots and lots of XRP, and all of the minor accounts should have like lower sums, for example, just a few K or whatever, 1K, let's say this account, just the XAM map has, for example, 1K XRP on it, so that's because, so a rather small amount of XRP. So, uh, which you can send on a fly, so if you just scan something, send it. But the main amount of your XRP should be on the Ledger on the S, uh, safely stored and secured, uh, so secured on a blockchain, but being accessible only with the Ledger on the S. So, that, so you don't have to manage the family seats for all of those, and also, yeah, obviously you have to do it, but, it, so in case, for example, lose the family seat for that one here, they still can access it, so that's the basic idea. So, thanks for watching, this was just my own setup, how I did it, uh, if you have questions how to set a regular key, I made a video on it, how it works, and see you in the next one.